Concrete versus Cement Have you ever wondered what the difference is between cement and concrete? Well, wonder no more. In general terms, the word cement refers to any kind of binder that tightly holds other materials together. Concrete, on the other hand, is a mixture of materials like sand, gravel, and small rocks combined with any type of cement and water. The concoction is then allowed to dry and harden. Basically, concrete is the stone-like structure formed after cement and other materials are mixed together. The cement is just a part of the recipe. Cement has been used as a binder of material for millennia. No one knows for sure who first came up with the idea to use a cement substance to bind materials together to make concrete, bricks, and other building materials. The process can be traced back to ancient Macedonia, but was more widely popularized during the Roman Empire. Early forms of cement used things like lime and pozzolana, a type of volcanic ash. The Romans were able to produce massive structures like the Pantheon and the Roman aqueducts using this formula. Currently, cement comes in two forms, hydraulic and non-hydraulic. Hydraulic cement refers to any cement that uses water to begin a chemical reaction that hardens the mixture and, when fully formed, creates a water-resistant product. This reaction is independent of the water content of the mixture, so allows for the material to harden even underwater. This makes it a very versatile construction material. Most all cements used today are hydraulic cements. Non-hydraulic cement uses materials that do not harden when exposed to water. While this type of cement is much cheaper than the hydraulic cement, the problems of long drying times, combined with the inability to use it in wet environments, makes it a poor choice in most applications. The most common type of modern cement is Portland cement, sometimes referred to as OPC for Ordinary Portland Cement. This type of cement is typically made by grinding small, rock-like bits of sintered limestone and aluminiosilicate minerals into a fine powder. Its fast drying times combined with its higher compression strength compared to other cements makes it a great choice for using concrete, mortar, grout, and stucco. Concrete is a mixture of cement, water, and aggregates. Aggregates make up about 60-75% to of the mixture, and cement and water make up the rest. Aggregates are usually inert coarse materials like gravel, crushed stone, sand, or recycled concrete. The type of aggregate selected depends on the application of the concrete. Given that concrete starts out as a semi-liquid, has great weatherproof properties, and high strength, its applications for use in construction are almost endless. The benefits of concrete include its durability, fire resistance, low maintenance, energy efficiency, and environmental friendliness. In fact, concrete is the most widely used man-made material on Earth. From all this, it's easy to see why some people would use the terms cement and concrete interchangeably. One is a main ingredient in the other. Bonus facts. Concrete comes from the word concretus, which is Latin for compact or condensed. Bonus fact 2. On March 21, 2011, Ed Byrne broke 55 concrete blocks with his bare hands in 4.86 seconds, setting a new world record. The previous record for this same amount of blocks was 17.49 seconds. Bonus fact 3. The Three Gorges Dam in China is the largest concrete structure in the world. It contains 27.2 million cubic meters of concrete. The previous record was held by the Grand Coulee Dam in Washington State at 9 million cubic meters of concrete, which is enough to build an 8-foot-wide sidewalk around the equator of the Earth. So I really hope you liked that video, and if you did like it, click like below and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. And also check out a couple of our other videos, which are linked to on the screen now, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every day. Thanks for watching.